All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Gunnar Harris, John Helms are on the front row. Nicholas McGathy and Ashton Mueller have the second row. Chase Wolf, Randy Shreves on the third row. Andy Patton and Robert Boggs have the fourth row. Donald Tulis and Cody Hillman round out the top ten. Or, <laughs> excuse me, round out the drivers here in heat number one. Our apologies for the slight uh, hiccup there. Little technical difficulty all resolved. We are ready to go from Volusia, heat number one. Cody Hillman does not take to the grid. Does not look like he will be racing tonight. Thank you, Terrell Wheeler, for the follow. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Make sure you drop in the comments. Let us know your cheer for or just say hello. And don't forget to hit that like, follow, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that share button. Invite your friends and family out. More great racing to come this weekend. Tomorrow night, I will be in the truck at Nashville Super Speedway. Sunday night, BRR Cup Series will be at Nashville Super Speedway. And as we get to the new year, we will have a lot of great racing next year, including some more charity and big money races coming. Down the back straightaway, Pace Car will drop in. Volusia, in almost the second the Pace Truck drops in, is fully on pit road. Barney drops the green. This is going to get good. Pace Truck is in. They are away. Green flag in the air. Heat number one. Four wide through one and two. No surprise. Volusia has a ton of different grooves. Three wide down the front straightaway. Gunnar Harris still has the lead. John Elms, Ashton Mueller battling for second with Nicholas McGathy. Chase Wolf now coming into the picture. Oh, we've got a we've got a driver into the fence. Two drivers in. Caution is out for the first time. Nicholas McGathy, Chase Wolf involved. Down into, holy cow, just too deep into that turn. McGathy goes way up the track. Chase Wolf, who dove it in there. Chase ended up towing to pit road. He is done in heat one. Pace laps do not count here, so they will still have seven to go when that green flag drops. Light should be going out on the pace car, the, the pace truck this time by. Gunnar Harris has led every lap so far. Sink, they stack back up for the restart. Can he hold off? John Helms starting up on the high side.
Again, they will get the green almost the moment that pace truck is clear on pit road. Here he goes. He is in there away. Green is back in the air. Gunner slides it up the track in turn one. Cuts a run off on John Helms and now Ashton Mealer looks underneath. Andy Patton starting to make his way up through the field as well. Now up three spots into fourth, trying to close in on that top three. Donald Tulis also starting to make his way forward as well as Robert Boggs. Nicholas McGathey was involved in that incident a moment ago, still holds on to seventh. Gunnar Harris continues to lead and sets the fastest lap. Ashton Mueller just not able to answer the speed he has. Randy Shreves now sits in third, passing Andy Patton. Patton holds on in fourth, but Donald Tulis is closing in. Reeves using that bottom line all the way around the track. He was cutting it extremely close through three and four. A little bobble there, making sure he doesn't get too low as white flag flies. Gunner Harris. Out of turn four, Gunner Harris will pull off the win and eat one. Hey, good evening, David. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on to heat number two with Miles Jansen and Ernie Williams on the front row. Scott Thomason and Steve Fernberg on the second. Rylan Gray, Randy Fritch on the third. Tanner Butler, Sam Milliken on the fourth row. Brent Hobbs rounding out the field. David, I do too. Looking forward. Hopefully we'll see him back with Nowski uh, in January. Pace car brings him around one more time. You'll notice the track continues to slick off. Word has it that they will not retreat the track tonight at all. There will not be a track refresh, so this is just going to get slicker as the night goes on. An exciting heat number one for sure. Heat number two, expect to be just about the same. Pace truck is on pit road. They fire and are away. Green is in the air. Heat number two. Jansen quickly gets cleared. Scott Thomason dropping into third, but Scott on the attack. Down into three and four, he shoots under Ernie Williams. Brent Hobbs already picked up three spots on the first lap, moving up into six. He is on his way forward, as is Rylan Gray. Scott Thomason now in second, still having to battle Ernie. Ernie looks to the high side out of two. Thomason gets the better run out. Brent Hobbs back in six, just set the fastest lap so far in heat two. He is moving. 
Hobbs now up to fifth, sets his sights on Ryland Gray in fourth. Miles Jansen still holds the lead, but now Scott Thomason has the fast lap and is closing the gap. Ernie Williams back in third, now has Ryland Gray and Brent Hobbs coming. Hobbs has definitely found a way to make that bottom line through the turn work perfectly. Scott Thomason still trying to reel in Miles. He is there. Looks underneath. Doesn't have the momentum yet. Three to go. Now he's got the momentum. Oh, he loses it all. Just bottles a little bit. Gets back on it. He's back underneath. Two laps to go. And now the top two touch through one and two. This is going to be a battle down to the flag. Thomason still underneath. And Ernie Williams is closing back in. Oh, they touched. This is close, and now Ernie Williams in the mix. Ernie shoots by into second. Out of three and four, who's it going to be? It is Thomason at the line. On to eight, number three. Man, it just keeps getting better. Sean Stevens and Dylan Berg have the front row. Justin Stoles and Chad Griggs on the second. Patrick Luccio. Connor Spear have the third row. Dustin Sargent and Terrell Wheeler, Terrell Wheeler on the fourth. Chris Schaefer rounds out the field. Heat number three, uh, man, after those first two heats, this can only get better and better as we go, folks. As we mentioned in the pre-race, the average I rating out here tonight, 3,500. These are definitely the best of the best on iRacing. Some of these names you have seen in those pro series on iRacing, these are the guys to watch. Some are up and coming. Some are at the top already. But you guys are definitely watching the future of dirt racing on iRacing. This is not something you want to miss. And if you're an iRacing dirt racer, this is the group you want to get in on. We have broadcast Sean Stevens, who starts up front on this channel in the past. You have seen that car before. You have seen that car dominate sprint car races before. Can he do it again here tonight? Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Heat number three is underway. The leader breaks away quickly, but man, it's the battle on for third. Sean Stevens now has... Justin Stoltz attacking. Chad Griggs almost got the wall coming out of four. He is down riding that wall. Patrick Coluccio battling Dylan Berg for fifth at the moment. Coluccio moves to the high side. Berg down to the bottom. Connor Spear right there with him. Justin Stoltz now into the lead, but Sean Stevens still right on his bumper. Connor Spear, Chad Griggs, 
look like they may have had some contact. Now Coluccio and Berger there. It is non-stop battling all over this track. The top two have a little breathing room for the moment, but the battle for third on back is where it's getting wild. Dylan Berg slid up in the middle of that, almost gets Coluccio, has to check up a bit. And now Chris Schaefer and Terrell Wheeler and Dustin Big Money Sargent are back in that fight. Meanwhile, Justin Stoltz on the run, starting to open up a little breathing room on Sean Stevens. Connor Spear and Chad Gregg still battle. Chad Griggs now uses that bottom line, pulls up into third, but Spears shoots back by. Up top, Dylan Berg now back into the fight. It's a three-car battle for third place. Meanwhile, Stoltz had opened some breathing room, but Sean Stevens is right back to him. Connor Spears still holds on to third for the moment. Chad Griggs still trying to make something happen down low. White flag is in the air one more time around. Can Stoltz hold? Oh, Stoltz is around. Stevens gets by. And Spears is right there. Who's it going to be out of turn four? Sean Stevens pulls off the win in heat three. Wow. On to heat number four. Josh Whiteman and Craig Dunn have the front row. Michael Cooper and Carter Chevalier on the second row. Jesse Dacus, the points leader, and Stephen Lindo on the third row. Taylor Wineland and Chad Goose Coat on the fourth row. Nick Shell rounds out the field. Based on what we saw in those first three heats, folks, uh, this is going to get good. Once we get into those B mains and that feature, the battling is just so close. The speeds are so close. It takes a mistake for somebody to move forward. Saw countless battles with four cars just going at it, and all four of them rotating spots throughout a lap. Multiple position changes every single lap, and man, it has been just some of the best racing you're ever going to see. I may need oxygen by the time this one's over, folks, because this night just keeps getting better. You see the track, as we mentioned, not getting refreshed. It's going to get slicker all night long. These drivers will have to adjust their setups and adjust their driving lines and potentially adjust their style just to make it work and move forward. Josh Wyman, and Craig Dunn on the front row. Hayes truck is in. Here we go out of four green back in the air. Heat number four is underway. Josh Wyman breaks away for the minute. Craig Dunn has Michael Cooper though all over him for second. Michael Cooper loses a couple of spots there. His battling goes. It's uh, everybody fighting for every spot mid-pack. Points leader Jesse Dacus currently runs in fifth, trying to make up some ground here, get himself a better position for the feature. 
Meanwhile, up front, Josh Wyman just set the fastest lap so far in the heat. Oh, a lot of kissing the wall into turn one. Lindo managed to slip by as Jesse Dacus gets the wall and drops all the way back into eighth. Lindo now up into fifth. Chad Coat up into sixth. Nick Shell drops back as Jesse Dacus starts moving forward. Craig Dunn trying to close back in on Josh Weidman, but Weidman has a half second lead now. Oh, we've got a pile up in turn two. Chad Coat and Nick Shell involved, no caution. Both drivers quickly tow to pit road. Meanwhile, Craig Dunn has managed to close back in on the leader. Michael Cooper also starting to reel him in, but he still has Carter right there with him. Two laps to go for Josh Whiteman. Can he continue to hold off Craig Dunn? Carter Chevalier also closing in on third place. Michael Cooper, his white flag is in the air for Josh Whiteman. He pulled away, looked like Dunn made a mistake. And Josh Whiteman will pull off the heat, the win in heat four. All right, on to the first of the B Mays with Robert Boggs and Justin Stoltz on the front row. Donald Tulis and Patrick Coluccio have the second row. Andrew Patton, Dylan Berg on the third row. Nicholas McGathy and Terrell Wheeler on the fourth row. John Helms and Chris Schaefer round out your top ten. Chase Wolf starts in 11th with Dustin Sargent in 12th. All the drivers on the grid. Twelve cars out on track this time. Every one of these drivers trying to advance into the feature. Here they come through one and two. The pace truck will drop in in three and four. Stoltz and Boggs have the front row. Pace truck heads to pit road. He is in and they are going green flag back in the air. Boggs quickly shoots it into the lead, and meanwhile, mid pack, three and four wide through one and two. Nicholas McGathy on the attack, as is John Elms and Chris Schaefer. Caution is out. Dustin Big Money Sergeant and Chase Wolf involved.
Down the back stretch. Oh! Wow, a couple of... Oh, and he lost a... Sergeant lost his wing. Look like one car in the wall. There's just a lot going on. Coming out of two on that lap. Look like Patrick Coluccio was the car stuck on the wall. Let's double check that. Yeah, Coluccio just ends up stuck in the wall trying to get it towed to pit road. Dylan Berg, Chase Wolf, Dustin Sargent all went to pit road. Patrick Coluccio, the only driver still on pit road. Robert Boggs, Justin Stoltz, Donald Tulis, Andy Patton, and Nicholas McGathey are your top five as we get ready to go back to green. Pace truck turns to pit road. They are away. Green flag back in the air. The top two, a little bit of a breakaway here. The battle is on, though, for third. Donald Tulis, John Elms, and Andy Patton going at it. Nicholas McGathy, who was on the attack earlier. Oh, oh, big wreck on the front straightaway. Caution is out. Cars are tumbling. Tulis comes out of turn four. There's some bumping going on. Both the drivers trying to avoid the car up high. Tulis goes for one heck of a ride. Robert Boggs still holds the lead. Now Nicholas McGathy in second. Andy Patton is ducked into pit road. Terrell Wheeler, Chris Schaefer, Justin Stoltz, Dylan Berg still out on track. Donald Tulis also went to pit road for repairs. Robert Boggs currently holds the lead, but Nicholas McGathy was on the attack from the start of this race. Could be starting to make a move. Lights are out there, stacked back up for the restart. Boggs on the bottom, in control here. Pace truck heads in. They fire and are away. Green back in the air. 
And whoa, we've got one in the wall, two in the wall, as they tried to go into one and two. Four wide, it did not work out. Robert Boggs still has the lead, but now John Helms has moved to second. Big wreck on the front stretch. Caution is back out. Terrell Wheeler involved. There is Wheeler in the middle through three and four. Oh, just slides up the 23 at a run. Wheeler didn't know he was there and hard hit. Wheeler definitely needed some repairs after that. Looked like the right front wheel was pointed pretty much the wrong way. Likely bent the arms and uh, yeah, that car needs some significant repairs. Justin Stoltz and Chris Schaefer also on pit road. Chase Wolf still on pit road from the earlier incident. Nine cars still out on track. Single file looks like for the restart this time. Boggs still has the lead. John Helms now up seven spots into second place. Nicholas McGathy still holds on to third. Dylan Berg in fourth. And Donald Tulis in fifth. Pace truck turns in, and here we go. Green flag back in the air. Single file restart definitely benefits Boggs, but Helms already on the attack out of turn two. They get a bit of a gap on McGathy in third. Oh, another incident on the front straightaway. Everybody saves it. Justin Stolt or Andy Patton and Chris Schaefer though lose a little bit of ground. Meanwhile, Dylan Berg holds third. And McGathy has dropped all the way back into sixth. Boggs and Elm still going at it with five to go. Helms has a run underneath out of two. Dead even out of four. The advantage on the high side. Don't tell Helms he's got a run. Oh, he loses a little ground. Helms leads it at the line. Boggs still trying to fight up on the high side. But Helm slides off, cut, slides up, cuts off the run, and takes the lead. Dylan Berg back in third has Donald Tulis and Chris Schaefer right there. But they are quite a ways now behind that lead battle. White flag is in the air one more time around. Can John Helms hold on to it? Boggs makes one last effort into three. It's not going to be enough. John Helms pulls off the win in the first B main. On to the second B main with Brent Hobbs and Carter Chevalier on the front row. 
Ryan Gray and Taylor Wineland on the second row. Steve Fernberg and Jesse Dacus, the uh, points leader on the third row. Tanner Butler, Stephen Lindo on the fourth. Sam Milliken and Chad Coat round out your top ten. Randy Fritch in 11th. Nick Shell in 12th. And Cody Hillman looking to start back in 13th. Drivers working their way to the grid. Hobbs and Chevalier on the front row getting ready to lead them out. All four heat races we saw non-stop battles. In that first B main we saw a little bit of chaos but still a lot of great battling. This second B-Main expecting a lot more battles, and uh, man, when we get to the feature, who knows? Everybody stacked up, ready to go. The track continuing to slick off as the night goes on. Pace truck makes that sharp left turn onto pit road. Here we go. Green is in the air for the second B main. And three wide out of turn two, almost four wide as several cars. They are four wide through three and four. Mid-pack, everybody on the attack. Carter Chevalier still trying to get past Hobbs. Rylan Gray and Taylor Wineland right there with them. Points leader Jesse Dacus has had a rough, rough night, but now starting to make his way forward again. Jesse currently holds on to fifth. Steven Lindo, oh! Caution is out. Several cars involved. Nick Shell, Steven Lindo, both caught. Lindo comes up out of turn two, gets into the car above, comes back down. Gets Shell and uh, another driver, look like Milliken. Lindo headed into pit road for some repairs. He took a couple of good hits. Brent Hobbs still holds on to the lead. Carter uh, Chevalier in second. Sam Milliken, Nick Shell also coming into pit road. Everybody is back out on track. Cody Hillman did not take the grid as they stack back up for the restart. So far, Brent Hobbs has controlled the race, but uh, Carter Chevalier is right there. Gets another shot at him here on the restart. 
After that chaos, points leader Jesse Dacus is now back in 11th. He had fought his way into the top five. Now he's going to have to do it all over again. Pace truck is in. They fire in the way. Green flag is in the air. Hobbs quickly back into the lead. Mid-pack, it is all go. Tanner Butler picked up several spots up there on the high side, down the back straightaway, but out of four, he slips back into eighth. Fernberg now starting to move back forward, and Chad Goose Coat now up into fifth. Goose started back in 10th, but oh, a little banging into one and two. And they stack up, tumble over, no caution. Now the caution is out. Look like Coat and Chevalier just gets a Chevalier just comes down. Couple other cars get caught up in the fracas, but everybody keeps moving. Carter Chevalier did end up towing to pit road. Hopefully he'll get back out to finish the, the B main. Track is really starting to get slick out here tonight, folks. Expect to see, especially in the feature, those drivers right up on the cushion and right down by that inside wall. Brent Hobbs continues to lead the second B main. Taylor Wineland now in second. Steve Fernberg in third. Randy Fritch now the biggest mover up seven spots into fourth. And Tanner Butler in fifth. Barney the flag man gives him the signal. One lap to green. Into three and four, pace truck starts turning hard left onto pit road, and they fire it away. Green flag back in the air. Hobbs quickly back to the lead, and back to two and three wide battling mid pack. Oh, one car sliding way up the track. Rylan Gray through three and four almost lost it. Steven Fernberg now up into third, starting to close in on the top two. And points leader Jesse Dacus is going to pit road. Brent Hobbs continues to lead. Taylor Wineland in second. Fernberg sits in third. Randy Fritch in fourth. Tanner Butler in fifth. Brent Hobbs just set the fastest lap of the B main. However, it is not the fastest lap of the night as the track slicks off. Uh, lap time starting to get a little slower. Chad Coat, who was involved in that previous incident, has now made his way up in, back up into the top five and is closing in on Fritch and Fernberg. Brent Hobbs has led every lap of the B-Main so far. Taylor Wineland has been unable to answer his speed. Wineland sends it deep into three that time. Two laps to go. Brent Hobbs 
Jones leads them out of four. White flag is in the air. Wineland makes one last attempt, but lost some momentum through one and two. Now through three and four, he shoots it in, slides up. It's not enough. Brent Hobbs will win the second B-Main. Now the drivers get a five-minute warm-up with this slick track. Expect a lot of them out here making final adjustments. They know this track is slicked off. Some of these drivers have not been out since their feature. They're taking this one last chance to make some final adjustments for the slicker track. The, guy, the top three from that first heat, they've got a lot of work to do. Sean Stevens is out, Miles Jansen, Robert Boggs, Gunnar Harris, Josh Whiteman. Chad Griggs is out, Steve Fernberg, Randy Shreves. Brent Hobbs and Ernie Williams also out. Chad Code out on track, Scott Thomason out. Scott Thomason had that amazing Heat 2 win. That was definitely one of the best uh, heats we've ever seen here at Volusia. And a few drivers just went tumbling down the front straight away. Some backup cars are being unloaded right now. Brent Hobbs currently the fastest on the leaderboard. Just over two and a half minutes left to go in the warm up. Just enough time to run to the snack bar, get something to eat, get something to drink. While you're standing in line, make sure you hit that like button, that follow subscribe and most importantly hit that share button folks invite your friends and family out this feature is gonna be the stuff of legends All right, folks, it is time to get down to business. We are at the feature event. Gunnar Harris and Scott Thomason on the front row. Sean Stevens and Josh Whiteman on the second. Ashton Miller and Ernie Williams have the third row. Connor Spear, Craig Donner on the fourth. Randy Shreves and Miles Jansen round out your top ten. Chad Griggs starts in 11th. Michael Cooper in 12th. John Helms in 13th, Brent Hobbs is in 14th, Robert Boggs in 15th, Taylor Wineland in 16th, Dylan Berg in 17th, Steve Fernberg starts 18th, Donald Tulis and Chad Cope round out the top 20, Chris Schaefer starts 21st, Randy Fritch rounds out the 22 car field here at Volusia. Maybe it's just the lights, but it does look like the track may have gotten just a little bit of work 
Not very much. It is still slick out there. And a lot of these drivers, again, these are the best of the best on iRacing. A lot of these drivers love that slick track. That is where they show all their skill. Also, of note, points leader Jesse Dacus did not make the feature. John Helms, though, second in points did. He's going to make up a lot of ground here tonight. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. The feature is underway at Volusia. Gunnar Harris shoots out to the lead, gives himself a little space. But they are three wide all the way around as they battle for every spot. Caution! Caution is out on lap two. It does look like our uh, scoring software is just gone. Decided to do its own thing, so give us just a moment. Now Gunnar Harris still has the lead. Connor Spear in second. Our apologies for the technical difficulty. That was a bit unexpected. Lights are out on the pace cars. The drivers get ready for the restart. Pace truck hits pit road. Gunner Harris fires. They're away. Green back in the air. Caution is back out. Sean Stevens involved. see what happened this time. They fire on the restart. Sean goes up to the high side. Not 100% sure what, ever, what even brought the caution out. Obviously, Sean did not have any problems. It's 
So everybody lined back up, single file, getting ready for the restart once again. Pace truck is in. Green flag is back in the air. Gunner again fires her side by side. Throughout the field, Josh Whiteman on the attack up to third. John Helms trying to work his way through the field as well. Gets caught up and slowed down. But that bottom line shoots by. Scott Thomason gets slowed up on the high side. John Helms just slipping by everybody else's mistakes. Josh Whiteman, meanwhile, broke away from the big group and is now closing in on Connor Spear. Gunnar Harris has a half-second lead. John Helms finally breaks out of traffic on the attack. Chad Griggs also starting to make his way forward. Now they're three wide. Oh, a little bump into one. Everybody makes it. And again, Griggs back on the attack. Miles Jansen holds him off for the moment. Caution is out. Caution is back out with 21 to go. Looks like a big stack up in one and two. Ernie Williams, Dylan Berg, and Chris Schaefer involved. Dylan Berg just has nowhere to go when he comes out of the turn. Oh, Ernie gets turned around, and they all stack up at the exit of two. So Gunnar Harris still has the lead. Connor Spear now up five spots into second. Josh Whiteman, who was gaining on the top two, now in third. John Elms in fourth. John up nine spots, the biggest mover so far. Also since second at points. He was nine points behind Jesse Dack is coming into tonight. He is going to make up a lot of points. This could be the night that uh, John Elms takes the points lead. They stack back up for the restart. Gunner in control. Pace truck hits pit road. He fires there away. Green back in the air. Gunner has got the restarts down pat. Connor gets a little breathing room, but John Helms and Josh Whiteman are right there. Scott Thomason closing in on the attack, bringing Miles Jansen with him. And everybody back behind caution is back out. 20 to go. Chris Schaefer appears to be involved in this one. Goes down into turn one. There is a bunch of bumping. Schaefer gets turned around, but manages to recover. Yeah. 
Eric or Ernie Williams, who was involved in it, the one that turned Schaefer, he is towed to pit road. Chris Schaefer is also ducked into pit road for repairs. That front wing was pretty banged up. And it appears Ernie Williams is out of the race. And look who's in second. John Helms, the man who stands to gain the most here tonight. Gunner Harris still has the lead, though. Nobody has been able to get past him. He has nailed every restart perfectly and puts a good couple of car lengths between him and everybody behind, and he does it again. Green back in the air. Single file restart, but by the time they get to one and two, the back half of the field side by side. Scott Thomason battling with Josh Whiteman and Miles Jansen trying to move forward. Connor Spear now holds on to third, trying to close back in on Helms. Helms about seven tenths of a second behind the leader. Scott Thomason up on that high side, but here comes Craig Dunn looking low. Ashton Mueller also on the attack. Ashton stands to make a lot of ground up in the points tonight as well. He came into the night third in points. With the points leader not in the feature, it's going to be a huge night for Helms and Mueller. Connor Spear sits in third, just turned the fastest lap of the feature. Gunner Harris, meanwhile, now opens up a three quarter of a second lead on Helms. Spear sits in third, Whiteman in fourth, still trying to close in. Chad Griggs, who we saw attacking just a little bit ago, now up to fifth. Miles Jansen right behind him in sixth, is a battle on for seventh as Scott Thomason and Ashton Mueller go at it. Brent Hobbs lurking right behind in eighth. Randy Shreves in ninth. Craig Dunn, or in tenth, Craig Dunn sits in 11th. Sean Stevens surprisingly all the way back in 12th. Eleven laps to go. Whiteman just set the fastest lap. And Wyman starts to look to the high side for third. Spear managed to cut off the run on the front straightaway. How long can he hold him off? That time Spear set up to go low or high. Depending on where Spear defended, Wyman is ready to move. Gunner continues to hold the lead, but Josh, John Helms just set the fastest lap. These guys just getting faster and faster, but still eight tenths of a second back as Wyman looks underneath for third. Oh, Spear comes down, almost gets into Whiteman. Spear manages to pull away after that move, but now Griggs closes in. Thomason now sitting up in seventh. Uh, uh, Ashton currently runs in eighth. 
Brent Hobbs now up to ninth. Sean Stevens has now dropped back to 12th. Surprised to see Sean not up battling for the win here. And Gunnar Harris was, is now the first driver to break the 15 second mark in the feature. Setting the fastest lap and opening his lead over John Elbs to now one and a half seconds with three laps to go. Gunnar Harris has dominated since the drop of the green. He started on the front row. And now in a lap and a half, he will go to victory lane. Caution! Caution is out! The white flag was not out. They did not. They will have to go green one more time. This is definitely not what Gunner wanted to see. Looks like Sean Stevens out of four into turn one just gets bumped from behind, goes around. Everybody misses it, but a few close calls in there. Gunnar Harris had a one and a half second lead when the caution came out and one and a half laps to go. He's nailed every restart tonight. He'll just have to nail one more and two more laps. And it does appear this is Gunner's first race with the league. What a dominance he has shown tonight. He definitely proved tonight he is equal to the challenge of running with the best of the best. Here we go. Pace truck hits pit road. Gunner fires. They're away. Green flag in the air. Two to go. John Elms has one more shot. As Josh Wyman on the attack almost got third. Spear held him off once again. Caution is out. They'll get another restart. And Gunner Harris involved. John Helm shoots way low, slides up, gets into Gunner. Both of them go around right at the front. Several cars catch a piece of it. Wow. What a sudden change here. Hey Chuck, thank you so much for following and for the like, bud. And it looks like Josh Whiteman will now be up front. Sean 
Man, I really expected to see you up there fighting for this one. You definitely had a rough night, buddy. Sean, who is your pick to pull this off now that we've seen such a big upset here late? Pace truck headed in. Josh Wyman in control. He fires there away. Green back in the air. Two laps to go. Miles Jansen all the way down to the wall trying to get under Griggs. Gave Wyman a little bit of breathing room, but not for long. Griggs and Jansen now battling white flag in the air. Jansen holds on to second for a moment. Griggs is right there through three and four, both on the attack. Won't be enough. Whiteman pulls it off. Miles Jansen comes home in second. Chad Griggs finishes third. And what a night. What an upset. Gunner Harris at one point and with a lamp and a half to go. Coming to the white flag at a one and a half second lead. Then the caution comes out and it all goes wrong. Give us just a minute as all three drivers get parked. We're going to talk to your top three. And let's start with third place, Chad Griggs. Chad, that was a wild uh, green-white checkered finish there at the end. <laughs> yes, it was indeed. Things got a little I dicey. You and uh, Miles were really going at it. Some very close calls there. Yeah, he... I didn't feel like I left a whole lot of room there on the bottom because I knew I had to protect against it, but he... He stuck his nose in there enough that I had to go ahead and let him have it. And I was like, okay, I'll just try to do the same thing he did to me on the next lap. And stuck it in there. I just didn't get as good of a run off of two as I needed to to speak for the spot going into three. So it was a good race. Fun it, race, I thought. It definitely was a great race, man. One of the biggest movers of the night. Up eight spots from where he started. An awesome battle at the end, man. It couldn't get much better. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, sir. Chad Griggs comes home in third. Miles Jansen pulls off second. Miles, that was one crazy battle there at the end uh, for second place. And honestly, the last lap after it settled, it looked like you might add something for Josh. Yeah, I found the bottom there way too late. And it, it worked out, but it didn't work out well enough. I wish I was one spot higher, but I'll take second. Uh, definitely... You guys had that uh, battle on that green-white checkered, and you just barely stuck the nose in. I honestly thought you and Griggs were going to the wall for a minute. I don't know how you found the room there. Uh, I kind of just threw it in there and hoped for the best. <laughs> I was, I was kind of frustrated I wasn't able to find anything all race to go forward, and then I found that, and I was like, I just pretty much just said, screw it. Well, it seemed to work out for you, man. A great, great finish. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Josh Whiteman. Josh, I saw you battling all night. You went backwards a couple of times. You fought back to the front. And, uh, man, you got it done. Plus, you're in the right number. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I remember the... 24 joke days from uh, American All-Stars. But, uh, yeah, it's good to get a win. Uh, it's good to see you doing the broadcast tonight, Doug. Uh, 
It's great to be back, and man, I have to say, it got wild up there. It didn't look like you were going to be in contention for the win. Then a couple of late race cautions put you in perfect position, and you managed to hold off two guys that were coming for you quickly. Yeah, um, car was pretty good in most of the race. Had to be really patient. Um, the line was changing a little bit here and there. You had to run through the slick, and you had to be really patient. But, um, you know, that's that's the name of the game. You just don't give up. You keep turning laps. You keep your car clean, stay on the track, and good things will happen, and it did tonight. So It definitely did. And, and looking at the uh, finishing order, with uh, Jesse not being in the feature, John Helms and uh, Ashton Mueller having problems, it looks like you're going to move up the points quite a bit as well. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to miss next week's race, though, because uh, I'm getting married uh, next Saturday, and the rehearsal of the party and stuff's next Friday. So I'm not going to be able to race next Friday. That's definitely more important than <laughs> racing. But uh, it it was it's just good to run well and uh, get a win. So I'm, I'm happy either way. Well, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the marriage. Best of luck to you and your new bride. And, uh, man, great job tonight. Yeah, thanks, Doug. I appreciate it. If I could, I'd like to thank some people before I leave. i got to thank uh, Scott Thomason, my team over, over at Scott Thomason Racing, all the guys uh, on the team. It's a fun group to be around. We just make each other better all the time. And then uh, Aces Up Sim Sports, uh, Chad Griggs, for doing a lot for our team. Uh, Aiden Beerline and Alex Bergeron from ABR Setup Shop for all their help uh, with our team and then all my customers who come get paints for me at Finish Line Race Designs to help me afford this eye racing habit. <laughs> oh, great job tonight, man. Congratulations. Yep, thanks, Doug. Good talking to you again. You too, buddy. Josh Whiteman pulls off the win in a wild feature at Volusia. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You can come back tomorrow night at 7.30 Eastern. See me do a little truck racing. Uh, Sunday night we'll have uh, BRR Cup Series at the Nashville Super Speedway. And a lot of great racing to come. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Have a great night, everybody.